Hi everybody, it's Talk To Me Tuesday and it is Tuesday and I don't know when it is, it's the 6th of June. Um, I'm back, yay, new space. Um, it's a bit beige in here at the moment, I need to put some things up on the walls and just make myself more at home but I've really missed sewing so I've just been focused on doing that a little bit the last couple of days. So we have moved, we are in a new town. Today is the first day my children have gone to their new school. So I'm feeling a bit mummy, mummy gibbers and my tummy feels a bit flippy because I keep thinking about my little babies at school and hope they're getting on all right. Um, I have a few things to show you uh, from before um, I took the break. And I keep saying, uh, sorry. <laughs> I went on a, the weekend before we moved, I went on a sewing weekend with some friends of mine. Um, it was a big um, quilt show, which is just basically lots of people selling lots of different things and then we went and stayed in a cottage um, right on the river for three nights and we just spent two days just sewing and talking and generally just trying to learn new crafts they tried to teach me to crochet I can't crochet um, I look a bit like an octopus I, I don't quite know what to do with my hook and my my wall gets all caught up and yeah it wasn't a very successful operation but apparently next year will be fine they've got a whole year to work out how to teach me to crochet um i bought a few things at the sewing show um some of which i've already made into gifts for my kids teachers at their old school which has been and gone so i can't show you those but i did get a few things i wanted to show you and I've made a couple of things as well. So the first thing I wanted to show you was, and this won't be exciting for you because you can get this fabric in America, um, but you can't get it in the UK, or you couldn't get it in the UK. They started to sell now the Doctor Who licensed fabric, which you could not get in the UK for love nor money. You had to import it from America and it was very expensive. But there is a shop now in the UK selling it. So I managed to pick myself up a fat quarter of this which is the exploding TARDIS fabric. No idea what I'm going to do with it. I um, think it might make it into a makeup bag or something like that, something for me that I can just put little knickknacks in. But I just love it. It's such great fabric. Um, and yeah, you can't, you couldn't get this in the UK before. So you, you guys would have it over there and I'd see it on videos and things and be so jealous. But exploding TARDIS. And for those of you who've been watching the new Doctor Who, I hope you're liking it. I'm really enjoying it. It's had its bad moments, but there's been some really good episodes as well. Um, but I do think we need a new doctor because he's looking very tired and very old suddenly. Um, and anyway, that's enough about that. I also um, got this uh, Alexander Henry fabric, which my new bedroom is green. <coughs> um, and I don't have any green things. So I bought this fabric which is just these really cute birds and it's got green in it and blues and I just really loved it so I've made myself two cushions they just envelope back I need to get better cushions because that one doesn't really fit in it but they just envelope back cushions with blue background so I made two of those um, and I have bought some fabric to make into a bed runner um, which I want to put on the bottom of our bed because the bedroom has got an ensuite bathroom and a massive wardrobe in it there's not really anything else in it and it's a little bit stark it looks a little bit um like a rented property which i don't like i like it to look like uh, us so i found this fabric which i fell in love with um let's just see if i can it's just this really cute green and it's got these lovely birdies on it and flowers um, and I'm making it into a bed runner on my serger let me show you what I've done uh, I'm I'm doing a bow tie quilt and I saw a tutorial for how to do it on a serger so I've only made two blocks at the moment because I need to get more white fabric but it's going to be like this um, and the bow tie in the middle is kind of 3D, I don't know how to show you that, it's kind of like 3D, it stands up a bit um, and I really love it um, so it's going to be bow tie quilt and it's going to be a bed runner so um, 
once I finish making that I will show you that but that is my plan with that fabric and the other thing I bought was a kit to make hedgehogs into a, a pillow it's a um, draft excluder pillow well we don't need it for draft excluder but I really love the technique so I bought the kit with the pattern and I made this bad boy which you can't really see that much but it's um, got triangles of felt that you sew trying to make the camera to catch up um, and then you piece them all onto the felt so they're all kind of 3D they look like spikes and then I found these little snail buttons to go on the told stores and the butterflies have little they're kind of loose and they have buttons on them as well and there are there's a little ladybird down here and another up here and then the third one and again a little snail button here and my little thing and that's it in general and I absolutely love it and um, it sits currently sits on our bed because we don't need a draft excluder but we do need a bit of something so it's sitting on our bed and then these pillows will sit with it Ooh, awkward so it'll be a bit like this Ooh, I can't get this there we go so yeah that is the intention just to try and make our bedroom a bit more us and less stark um aside from that I have a few future plans I think I'm going to do my Doctor Who quilt for my uh, UFO because I've got 11 blocks and I've just copied out um, some embroidery for two more so I'm just going to embroider and add a pose which you can't really see and Doctor 12 because I've got 11 and 10 on my quilt and I kind of want 12 as well because I, I have enjoyed 12 as a doctor um, I love Missy but 12 is I think 12 is a decent doctor he's just not had the pairing and I quite like him with the new girl um, but anyway enough about Doctor Who so I'm going to do that and I'm also going to try and get my Fantastic Beats quilt um, finished or if not really finished just really focus on it uh, for the next couple of months so I've got three blocks printed off ready to go um, but I did want to ask because I know you guys have done this before but how you go about designing which package you use online to design the quilt layout I'm really struggling to see the Doctor Who layout I'm going to stick with Jennifer's layout with the blues um, but the the layout for my Fantastic Beasts quilt I've got an idea for how I want to do it um, and some of the blocks are bigger than the other blocks so I'm kind of looking for something I can put the block sizes in and then just move them around and play about with them um, so if you have any suggestions on anything I can do for that that would be greatly appreciated um, I have been watching all of your videos I'm really happy to be back and I will be here now um, every week hopefully of course touch wood which is my desk um, I'll be here every week so have a fantastically crafty week and I will see you all next week bye